and Jim and welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. How are you doing today? Are you doing okay? I am also doing okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. We are back from the beach. We're back from the beach. Oh and my we are goodness. burnt. Well, I'm well, burnt. Well, you're, you're sunburned. I am not because I applied sunscreen. I did too, and I still burnt. <laughs> Anyways, we are back from vacation, and we're ready to make another Meteorology Monday today. That's it. That's it. And we're doing this on Sunday because we have a unique event that's gonna be happening if everything pans out correctly. If it keeps going the way things are going. That's right, that's right. I think we have something uh, interesting and potentially monumentally historical. That's right, that's happening, right. Happening uh, Monday through Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. That's right, so this week, uh, let's see, so today is August 21st, I believe. I, I, it's Sunday. August. This is the 23rd! <laughs> Over the course of this week, we're going to possibly experience two tropical cyclones hitting the same area in a very short amount of time. Yep. So, yep. what we're talking about is currently, currently as of today, as they of are, today, we'll pop up a graphic and show you what's happening. That's right. Tropical Storm Marco and Tropical Storm Laura, both headed toward Louisiana at this point. And if it continues to go, we've got Marco that should be impacting Louisiana sometime uh, on Monday. And we have Laura possibly impacting Louisiana sometime in the Wednesday time frame. I'm sure there's lots of people wondering about this. Figured, let's go ahead. We've got a historic event potentially happening. So let's go ahead and let's hit the first question. So the Atlantic Basin covers the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean. And the Atlantic Ocean. You know, so so you know, you're talking Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, all that stuff, all the way out, yep. the Azores basically, and, and everything westward going into the Gulf of Mexico. Yep. So including the eastern United States. So uh, is it potentially, you know, is it unusual to say have a hurricane hit the Outer Banks of North Carolina and also possibly hit Cozumel uh, or Cancun in Mexico? It's not, it's not unusual to have two storms in the Atlantic at the same time, making landfall about the same time. I mean, you can have a system high up the East Coast doing something up there. You can have one in the Gulf of Mexico. It all counts as the Atlantic Basin. So it's not too rare to have two in the entire Atlantic Basin, but what is at the same rare, time. At the same time. At the same time. What is rare is having two in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. Yep. So we'll actually get to that question in just a second. So we know that we've seen in years past, including this year, that you can have two at the same time. Sometimes there's three or four. It just depends on how active the season is. Sometimes it's just one. Yep. But uh, definitely, no, it's not unusual to have two systems at the same time in the entire Atlantic Basin. Correct. Now, let's focus in a little bit more. So now just focusing on the United States. So it could be from Brownsville, Texas, all the way up to Eastport, Maine. Is it unusual to have, say, a storm hit Texas and one hit Florida within a short period of time? When I say short period of time, probably within 36, 48 hours of each other. This is getting a little bit more rare. Still, it's not the rarest thing on the planet, but there are a handful of times that this has happened before. Do you have any examples off the top of your head? <sighs> Well, if we if we expand the time frame to include over the span of a few weeks, like you said, Ivan, <clears throat> Katrina, Ivan, Katrina, Jean. you know, there's a number of a number of things there. Yep. Um, and if we uh, expand instead of just the United States, if we include Cuba and and the Dominican Republic and, and islands out there, you know, is something hitting there while something's hitting the U.S. You know, within a week's time frame. Yeah, it, it's yeah. possible. You know, we have seen it before, and it's oh. not unusual. What was it? Twenty seventeen or eighteen? One of those years. Very recently, we did have Hurricane Irma. Uh, make landfall right as uh, I believe it was tropical storm Keisha was um, hitting Mexico. So there we had one hitting Mexico and one hitting uh, the US. There you go. And then Maria was right behind that and that hit Puerto Rico. Yep. So 
there you go. There's th three within like a week of each other. That's right. That's right. And I remember doing some hurricane forecasting back in 1996. And I remember seeing, because uh, the high, Bermuda High was established, <laughs> you know, firmly established uh, out in the Atlantic. And, and, you know, storms were just coming right around, well, as we're looking at it this way, coming right around, going up the East Coast, and they would just keep uh, you know, every other week or so, just kept trucking it up. Every six or seven days, you would have something kind of funneling through, plus or minus a couple hundred miles, but you know, pretty much the same track. What we got next? All right. So the next question would be: So this one is a definite yes. I believe there have only been two other times in history, one in the 1950s and one in the 1930s, in all of our time keeping track of hurricanes. There's only been two times before this on record. Yeah, um, at least especially with them making landfall. Yeah. But again, you know, if you consider hurricanes the size of Katrina or Ivan or, or some of them. They take up the entire Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> They're the size so, of the Gulf of Mexico. So it's kind of hard to fit two. Uh, strong storms in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. Just, just, just. Yeah. If you've got one big one there and it's moving, you know, not at a fast pace, it's going to churn up the water. It's going to be cold. And so it's hard to have another one follow in its footsteps. That's yeah. going to be... You know, Anything worth talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to be, you know, hard to maintain that. It, yeah. And, and so, you know, yeah, you might have another one, but That's having them at really the same channel. time, especially when they're yeah. big, it's, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's weird. Extremely rare. Strange. But you definitely. Gotta, uh, stay on your side, buddy. Stay in your lane. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. This one over there, this one over there. And, uh, and Marco and Laura are, you know, as of right now, you know, they're both tropical storms. Yeah. Uh, Laura is, I think it's, making its way through Cuba at this point um, and getting into the Gulf of Mexico. But once they do, you know, Marco is a low end category one right now. Laura, I think is still a tropical storm, but increasing in intensity at this point. By the time Laura moves in, you know, we're talking maybe low end hurricane for Laura as well. Yeah. We'll see, depending. But uh, yeah, you know, it's not like they're two category fives trying yes. to compete. You don't have two they're... Katrinas currently in right. the Gulf. Right, exactly. You know, they're two, you know, Category one, you know, They're low all, end. They just point. little ones, just little ones spinning <laughs> out there. Together. Of course, we're the way the seasons have been going. You could wake up tomorrow morning and you know, OMG. Marco could be cat three. You just cat never know. Five. <laughs> just take out the entire Gulf of Mexico. We don't need that anymore. It is 2020 after all. All right, let's move on to the next one. like in the same year or? So yeah, let's say the same tropical season. The same hurricane season. Will a hurricane roll over the same area? Almost like almost like the proverbial, will lightning strike the same place twice? <laughs> will a hurricane <laughs> strike hurricane. the same place twice? Mm -hmm. uh, in one hurricane in one season. In the same season. Is like, it unusual? Yeah, it's definitely unusual. Let's categorize unusual. it as well, unusual. I guess if, if you're talking about the eye making landfall close to each other, yeah, that's really unusual. Mm -hmm. If you're Florida, if, you're, if we're talking about states, that's not unusual. <laughs> Florida gets hit by everything. But if we say, you know, <laughs> within 50 to 100 miles over the eye, of yeah. making landfall from storm number one, yeah. storm number two hitting within 50 to 100 miles, is it unusual? Is it rare? Yeah, I think the last time it happened was Ivan and Katrina. Was it not? It was, a, or was that a little farther apart? Hmm. I know we also had Charlie I get, and Jean. Yeah, I get Rita also. Uh, it can be Rita, in the mix because yeah. Rita was more about Rita. toward the Texas Louisiana border, whereas Katrina was, and again, same year. So yeah. I think Rita was just a few weeks after Katrina, if I remember correctly. And it had That's what, 31 happened. storms or whatever? 31 <laughs> named storms. So, yeah, check out last week's video. There you if, go. Uh, you want to learn about that. So, and I, I've got some interesting. Uh, Fact finding oh, that, that I will here present here go. in just a minute. We've got Dad's fun fact of the day. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, one more question. So it's one thing for a hurricane to roll over an area, let's say uh, Houston, and then three weeks later another hurricane rolls over, say uh, you know, 50 to 100 miles. Okay, that was a few weeks difference. 
What about two hurricanes or tropical systems rolling over an area 50 to 100 miles apart within a matter of 36 hours or so? Can't recall that ever happening. Has it happened? Am I missing something? I must be missing I haven't, something. I haven't looked in that deep with that, but that's very interesting. And I think it would be good to leave it up to our subscribers and anybody else watching that if you do know of that kind of situation, oh. comment below. He's giving you guys some more. <laughs> so All what we're right looking guys. for is, is two storms that have hit the U.S. mainland and the storm landfall locations were about 50 to 100 miles, so relatively close proximity to each other, but within, you know, a 48 hour time period. Let's clarify something. If you are watching this video in some time that is after August, say 25th, <laughs> and these storms, you know, happen to have fulfilled this criteria, you can't put these as an example, okay? <laughs> that That's cheating. cheating. <laughs> That's cheating. But yeah, I can't, um, I can't remember a time within like a day. I, I don't even really remember two hurricanes being close to each other, close enough to make landfall yeah. close to each other. And they kind of, if they did, like day. It, it would kind of get into that Fujiwara effect, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which, here comes the plug-in for the Fujiwara Effect video we put together. That's right. Right here. Nope, it's over there. It's over there, it's sorry. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> what are these fun facts that you have? Okay, so these fun facts. Let's go back to the previous question. Oh, we're going back to questions. So is it unusual for two different storms to hit the US mainland in a very short distance from each other? The answer, what I've been able to find out from data from the National Hurricane Center is yes, back in 1933, and there might be a more recent event, but uh, because we were talking about the two storms uh, back in 1933, 1959, I was looking at the data in 1933, and I discovered that these actual two same storms that were in the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. they actually wound up hitting uh, the West Palm area within 50 miles of the West Palm area just a little bit before that. So the two storms in 1933 that were in the Gulf... And cut! So the two storms that actually hit in the Gulf in 1933, what we were talking about earlier, one hit around Brownsville, Texas, and the other one hit uh, Cedar Key, Florida. Yeah, so we kind of had two systems Similar there within situation. a matter of four or five days hit one area within 50 to 100 miles of each other. Wow. And then they came in and they split, one going into Brownsville, and then a few days later came, came into yeah. You know, West Palm and then turned and went up to Cedar Key. Hmm. And the one in 1959, the, the incident in 1959, that was in June of 1959. And you had Tropical Storm, uh, uh, oh boy, I'm going to destroy this name, <laughs> <laughs> either Bela or Bula. Um, and then there was another one that was unnamed. Well, when you looked at Bula, unnamed. Uh, forgive me for not saying it correctly. Um, that one actually went down into, again, the Brownsville area, down and around South Texas, and the unnamed tropical storm actually wound up going up into the Florida Panhandle, so down, down Cedar Key. Right. So wow. they didn't come in to, uh, you know, West Palm and then go, you know, do this kind of thing. They actually formed in two different points and went in two different directions. You know, wow, different situation, really but that's where 1959 you had two systems in the Gulf of Mexico, and then in 1933, two systems in the Gulf of Mexico, both forming in two different ways. So anyways, so the difference between 1933 and 1959, we've actually got something that could be even more historic, and that is, is two systems actually going to hit the same state Within a 36 to 48 hour time frame, yeah. and you know, probably within eh, it might be a little bit more than 100 miles. You know, one might be going more toward the west side, one would be coming in more depends on where that on the east the side. high and low kind of setup to show, yeah, right. But Maybe but to hit the, the same state, <laughs> to hit the same state within a matter of you know, a day or two, that's that's quite historical, yeah. So, if you like what you saw today. <laughs> So there we have it. There is a little bit about the historical significance of uh, what we got going on in the Atlantic right now. That's right, exactly. And that it is entirely possible looking at past storms 
uh, previously. So yeah, there you go. It's happened in the past. It's happening currently. Maybe it'll happen in the future. That's right. Exactly. It's always cool to go back and look at the past and see what have things done. And usually, you know, if you hear big news events that say, oh, unprecedented, and sometimes you can go back and, and find that same or a very similar situation that did occur. So it isn't yep. quite as unprecedented as reported, but it is significant. Still cool, still significant. And it's significant because it's now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. And uh, if you like the uh, hurricane related content that we've been doing, definitely let us know down below and we'll keep doing similar videos like this. That's right. And go ahead and also follow us on our other social media platforms as well. Facebook, Instagram, our website, and uh, Patreon. If you want to continue to support us in doing what we do, uh, please go ahead, check us out on Patreon, and that helps us out a whole lot. Definitely. All the links will be down below if you're interested. And until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy... <laughs> what an outro! <laughs>